Hello, my name is Sonny Henniger, General Manager here at Convectex Bed Bug Heaters. And the idea behind this video is to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that we get concerning our equipment, as well as to provide you with some simple troubleshooting tips. Whether you've already received your equipment or you have questions regarding the online ordering process, we hope this video will help. On the left side of your screen, you will see the questions and troubleshooting covered in this video, along with a timestamp indicating where that topic is discussed so that you can move forward directly to your question. Let's get started. So one of the most frequently asked questions that we get and some things that can happen in shipping due to the fans being bounced around is with our fans. And if you can see here, there's an inlet here and that's designed so that you can plug other fans into this fan to power them in a daisy chain. Sometimes this GFCI will get tripped during shipping, just again because of being bounced around. So if you get your fan and you, and you turn it on after plugging it in and nothing happens, if you just hit this reset button right here, your fan will come right on. Something else that can happen during shipping because the fan's getting bounced around and moved is the fan motor itself is sitting on an axis and sometimes because it gets bounced around it can get just knocked off a little bit. And there could also be some shipping material in the fan, stuck next to the fan. So if you turn your fan on and it makes a humming noise or sounds like it wants to run, but it's not, a lot of times you can take a ruler or just anything that you can get in there after you turn the fan off. So again, turn the fan off, reach in there and just give that blade a little bit of a spin. Then turn the fan on and you're up and running. Both of those things happen quite frequently, so those are some easy troubleshooting tips for the fans when you receive them in the mail. Another question we get asked quite a bit is, why is there a plug here in the fan and what do I use it for? This plug is not designed for your heating elements. Never plug one of the blue cords that powers your heating elements on the heater into this inlet. This inlet is specifically designed so that you can daisy chain fans together. And I'll show you what I mean. I can plug this fan here into the wall, and then I can take another fan and plug it directly into here, and that will power that fan as well. And I can do up to six of these fans in a row off of any 15 amp circuit outlet from the wall. So one 15 amp circuit will power six of these fans safely, and you only need one plug to run all of them and that's what they're here for. So you never want to plug your blue cords or the cords that power the heating elements on your heater into the fan. Always plug your blue cords that power the heating elements to the fan directly into an, a wall outlet. Also, don't ever use a power strip. Again, directly into the wall outlets. The most commonly asked question is when you pull your heater out of the box when you first get it and you start to move it around, it's going to make a noise. A lot of people think that there may be something broken with it um, or a part is loose. It's supposed to make that noise. What you're hearing is the tip switch. It's a safety device so that if the fan tips over during your treatment at any point in any direction, that will disconnect power and shut the heater off immediately. So again, when you pull it out, you hear that noise, it's perfectly normal, it's supposed to be like that. Um, and again, that's just a, a tip switch for, for safety. One of the most frequently asked questions that we get is what does this cord do? This cord only powers the fan within the heater and the digital thermostat. That's the only thing it provides power to. On the side of the heater and with your blue cords, these are the heating elements. So if you haven't plugged any of these in, you're not, you're not creating any heat energy. You don't have to plug them all in um, based on the square footage of the area that you're trying to treat, um, but these are the heating elements on both sides. And that's where the blue cords come in. And the blue cords plug into separate outlets and plug into the sides here, however many heating elements that you need based on the square footage that you're gonna treat. We get a lot of questions um, about our videos versus what, what you're getting in, in your package or in what's on the heater. So just recently, we've changed the on switch for the heating elements to orange, 
and it is a temporary switch. In other words, it's not going to stay on like the, like the green switch is. Okay, it's just going to click everything on and then go back to its original position. Um, in a lot of our previous videos, you're going to see that there's a red switch and it does stay on. We've changed that again for safety. If you lose power to your home or during a treatment, the heater will not turn itself back on. So you're going to get a heater with an orange switch, not a red switch, and it's not going to stay in the on position, but when you click it, the heating elements are working and you are doing a bed bug heat treatment. So what is a PTAC splitter? You'll see that in a drop down on a lot of our products that we can ship it with either a PTAC splitter or additional cords. It's really not additional cords. It's the right amount of cords for the heater. Although the, if, if shipped with the PTAC splitter, these, these four cords take up those, those spots on the heater. So what is a PTAC? It stands for Package Terminal Air Conditioning. And if you've ever been in a hotel and you've seen the air conditioner sticking out of the side of the wall, typically that's a PTAC uh, outlet. And what that is is a 220 volt outlet. And what this does is it plugs into that outlet and reduces it to four 110 plugs to be able to power the eight amp side of your heater. These very specifically work with our heaters. Most homeowners are not going to have this style of plug. So if you're a homeowner, typically speaking, you're going to want to order any of our heaters with the additional cords, not with the PTAC splitter. This is a 110 plug, and this is a 220 PTAC. And as you can see, they look very similar. However, the two blades on the 110 side, or the 110 cord, are both vertical. Where with the PTAC, PTAC, one is vertical and one is horizontal. And that's the, a real easy way to tell whether it's a 220 or a 110 regular outlet. So again, when ordering, if you're a homeowner, you're probably not going to need this. You're going to want to order it with the additional cords. Sometimes you'll see PTAC air conditioners in apartments. Mostly you're going to see them in hotels.